Hey guys, it is Canada Graphs here with a set report for Superman and Lois Season 3. This is Episode 1 and this is a follow-up to the last video with the set report from downtown Vancouver the day after the Smallville location. This is Tom Cavanaugh here who is directing the episode. If you, if you don't really know who that is, uh, I, I don't know why you're watching this because uh, he is on The Flash, which, regardless what Tom or um, Todd Helbing wants to say, is connected to this show. <laughs> um, anyways, Tom here is going through the motions with the crew, showing them what he wants for scenes later in the day. This is before they even started filming. He's out there explaining to them, this is how I want you to move, this is what happens in this scene, etc., etc. Um... So then we move on here. Here he is now telling Tyler Hecklin and uh, Paul Lazenby uh, what he wants from them in the scene. You can see Tyler isn't even suited up yet. He's got the pants on, but he hasn't put the shirt on yet. Uh, so, you know, this is still before they've even started technically filming. Now here they are actually filming the scene. You can see uh, Paul in his full um, Adam Man costume there. And he's holding a Metropolis taxi door. Uh, th there was a funny moment, like, at one point, I could count four of these doors for the Metropolis taxi scene. They just had laying around. One of them dented up. One of them, like, it, they were all in different shapes. But it was kind of funny because you know, there was only one taxi there, yet they had four doors. <laughs> um, here they are actually having a scene where they have a little scuffle and, you know, a bit of back and forth. You can see Tyler, you know, he's trying to figure out where his mark is. Looks at the, looks at the tents. They're like, okay, yeah, you're perfect. Get ready. No, you know what? We'd like you to move in a step. So, you know, he has to do that. And then they uh, redo the action from that point and continue on. You can see Lazenby's character, the Adam Man, saying words to him. Um, then he smacks uh, the door here. Superman goes flying all the way back. Oh, that's devastating. He is out of there. Uh, so here we see um, them again just standing around. Um, here it is again, the same scene. This time, I think this is one that goes a bit longer. You get to see uh, the part after he gets knocked out. They do some editing work where they'll tell Tyler, like, okay, stand there. Then you enter back in. Okay, we want you to come here. So you see him for a second there. He'll be like, uh, this way? No, this way? That's because the director is telling him, like, I want you to move from this direction to that direction. Uh, okay, when you get there, that's perfect. So that's, that's why you see him doing that. And then they roll camera. He moves in. And they have their face off. And he goes running at uh, Adam Man there. And uh, that is that is it for what they really do in that scene there. Um, and then from there, the crowd like looks up in the sky and watches them flying up in the sky together because Superman grabs them into the air. Uh, here's that same scene you've seen a couple of times already, but this time with the smoke in the background. And you can see spectators running around in the background, the extras. They're supposed to be, you know, like terrified and they're running for their lives. Well, this scene is going on in the middle of the street. Um, here again, you, you see Superman just standing there facing him up, kind of like, oh, you, you, want, you want any of this? Actually, no, I was wrong. This is actually when he first jumps in. Uh, I, I misread what that uh, action was. Um, he's just looking around and he's kind of like, dude, you've made a mess. Do you have a broom? Like, I'm going to need you to clean this up. And Adam Man's like, no, nah, I'm good. He's like, well, then we have a problem. And uh, so then here is Tyler again. Um, why did I have it zoomed out so much? I don't know. Uh, but there he is doing his scene. He does that, like, zip towards him where he kind of makes a quick rush. So at one point they pulled out a green screen for a little while. And Tyler does that walk in where he stops, looks at him after getting knocked backwards. And then he, he just walks in, 
has this like very unimpressed look, kind of like, oh, dude, do you really want to mess with me? Come on, man, that's a bad move. And yeah, he just like pulls up to the situation, looks at it, and he's like, you picked you pick the wrong day. And uh, here he is again doing the, the landing. I caught it just a little late there. And then, you know, he's just looking around, assessing the situation, realizing some stuff is up. And uh, that's all I have for video from this. Hopefully, I will have uh, some more set video in the near future. But as of right now, this is the last current set that I have in my inventory. But there's still lots of season left to film. They're still just doing, I think, episode maybe three right now. So, uh, yeah, there, there's probably lots of time for me to catch a couple more sets this season. They don't get downtown a lot, but they are down there once in a while. So here are obviously some set photos. You've already seen the clapperboard. There was a, you know, a car fire there and uh, Tom Cavanaugh on set giving directions to the crew and now to uh, Tyler Hecklin here telling him things he'd like him to do in the scene. <clears throat> you know, um, for, for all the directors I do see on set, he definitely seemed to be out there communicating with the actors more than most of the ones I see. Not to say the other ones necessarily are doing a bad job, but they all have their own style. And his, I guess, is a more be out there and, and you know, talk through each take with the actor's type. Um, here he is showing him basically how he wants him to hold the door. And then here's Tyler and Paul doing the scene where they're holding the door. So you, you see the type of stuff I'm talking about. He's out there like every take, like, okay, I need you to, to look this way when you're doing it. So here's some of just Tyler. Hanging out on set, hands on hips, very Superman looking pose, you know, classic, like, all right, I'm here, um, what do you need me to do? Like, hands on hip pose. Um, there was a couple times during the day where he had the cape on, but like I've said earlier, obviously he had the cape off for some scenes, and um, here, here you see him with Paul in scene. Um, this is where he just walks out to the center and he's basically confronting uh, Adam Man. And now they're they're fighting over the uh, Metropolis taxi door, which, I mean, at this point, I, I have to assume that door is probably a write-off. Um, you know, no offense to the cabbie, but I don't I don't think uh, that door is going to be very useful after they're done with it. Uh, here is Tyler without the cape on. You can see um, the belt on the back. You can see how it like hooks into the back. And there's a front view without the cape on. Um, and he also did some green screen work as you obviously saw from the video portion. And this is just him standing there waiting to do his scene on the green screen. Uh, I'm really curious what is going to be behind him in the green screen. That is obviously a wait to be seen part of uh, everything in the process. Um, yeah, so here he is. You know, he's having a good smile, good laugh at something there. Behind him, that's actually his double. You can see he's wearing the same type of costume. Um, there he is, still smiling on set, looking happy about something. Um, <clears throat> he was generally in a pretty good mood on set. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a nice day out, so a little, little smoky because our air was poor quality at that time, but it wasn't as bad as it had been days before, so maybe he was in a good mood that it was getting better. <laughs> um, here's a close-up of the logo. A lot of people have been talking about the logo because of the new look of it, and you can see here how the lettering is raised on it. You can see it doesn't sit flat on the chest anymore. So uh, that is, um, a lot of people noticed that, but they maybe didn't see the detail because there hadn't been really a shot of it. Here he is saying goodbye to the uh, fans at the set, and he is thanking them for their patience on set. And um, I actually ran into him after he was leaving that day. Um, I was the only person that caught up to him because no one else really knew where to be, and uh, he did sign for me that day. I uh, took the time to sign. I told him I really liked the new suit, and he thanked me for that. And that's it for this set. Like I said, hopefully there will be more soon. But as of this current moment, this is all I do have for Superman and Lois. I do have some for The Flash coming out soon-ish. But this is it for Superman and Lois. But there will be more hopefully this season. Uh, thanks, and have a good one, and bye.